wow, this is so seamless. It's like a movie. <laughs> Morning coffee being made. Uh, I say this all the time. Jack's coffee is the best coffee on earth. I feel like anywhere I've ever been. ASMR, come on. Yes. How was yours this morning? Absolutely delicious. Yeah. It was so good. Out of ten? I want another one. She wants another one out of ten. <laughs> Poor Jack's breakfast is getting <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That sounds like something out of Stranger Things. Magic. Magic. Uh, this microphone is quite fun to play with. You're just going to get random stuff like that now from the future. I've been thinking about this all morning. I've, I've wanted to do this all morning. Nothing like that first sip of... Hello, it's me from the bathroom. First sip of coffee in the morning. Ready? Hello, it's me from the bathroom. Oh, d damn! <laughs> we are matching. That's because that's what couples do. <laughs> You're supposed to match um, on purpose and not on purpose. Tuesday today It's the day where you choose if you're going to be better or not. On Tuesday you get to choose if you're going to progress and do something to make yourself better. How motivating. We, uh, we've come to just watch Jack eat his breakfast. <laughs> every day for five years. Yes. Whilst you've been in the UK, yes. that's, that's literally what you've had every day for five years. Yeah. Well, if it's not broke, don't fix it. It's a really nice setup here for like a buck light. Like can... can we just do the house? Like, I don't know if the best way to spend our money right now but can we just do the house we don't have enough money to do the house <laughs> we can we can we can try it's nice in here isn't it beautiful very instagrammable you remember when that was a thing no. i'm pretty sure that was my profile picture on facebook why why did that become a thing yeah. and then it just got bigger david beckham, david beckham. great documentary Chaz this morning is trying to figure out an issue that we've got with a pocket on the teddy fleece. She's been on that call for a while. They're trying to go through a few solutions with basically a solution between the person that helps us create stuff and the factory and our, per our, like our midway person as well. There's four people on there. I honestly can't wait for training today. <laughs> I've done this job, which is uh, YouTube. I don't know if you'd call it a job. It's just like, I love, I love making videos, always have. But it has turned into a job over the years, which I cannot thank you guys enough for, for making that happen. This morning I woke up and I was just, you know when sometimes you wake up and you're just in a bit of like a down mood. You're like, oh man. Oh, just like, it's, it's your head. Like it's just a bit, whoop. And then like, I was chilling. I had my tea. I got on my phone and the first thing I saw was like a negative comment. And I'm like, it really affected me this morning. You know, like I, it shouldn't, like I've done this for long enough to understand that like, <sighs> but, but sometimes when you get one negative comment and like a hundred great comments, you only focus on the negative one. And I feel like that's the same with training sometimes where it's like, you could have a million amazing sessions and you just don't even think about it. And then you have one bad one and you're like, is this the end, you know? I got the key, but Jazz is driving. Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't know why I'm sharing that piece of information. Just, I got affected by a comment today and I can't wait to just go and train it out, you know? You want me to drive? I can drive if you want me to. I'm very good at it. I could be your chauffeur. Hello, how are you doing today? I'll be your chauffeur. I'll take you to the box. Oh, you're looking stunning, fabulous. Some would say 11 out of 10. Some, or... <laughs> Did you come up with a solution for the... I don't know. We don't know. <laughs> 
it. Great. Jazz on her run month, uh, you did another 9K last night. That was impressive. She really didn't want it. It was like the end of the day and you were like, I really don't want to do it. And then yeah. you just got out so there and really ran it. I really need to just start running first thing. But then obviously this morning, I also did not run the first thing. And you're now over 60K of the 100 with what, like seven days to go? I've got 39.3, I keep forgetting. Oh, squirrel. Thank you, what a very nice man letting us out. Hope he gets some good karma. You know what I mean? Hope do, something do, good. Does anybody do that? I do it without exaggeration daily. I'll like consciously let at least one car out on my journey somewhere at some point that day because that's like my good deed done for the day. Like it's not, it's You're not overthinking something like this. I don't, if, if the situation hasn't occurred I'm not thinking about it but when I see a, the, the situation occurring I'm like that's my good deed for the day and I just do it. You just banking them good deeds or what? Why is it always your phone connected? Because I'm DJ. That's why I sit in this seat. That's well, you're not. You're not doing anything. Well, no, currently not now because we're talking to the team. We're having a good old chin wag, babe. Conversation, jibber jabber. You can tell which one of us doesn't have anything to do, can't you? <laughs> you can't say that. Yeah, I can. <laughs> we, we've had a productive morning. Who's had a productive morning? Honestly, today has just been. Well, it's not even that late. It could get worse. Don't say that. <laughs> it's not. What do you call a donkey with three legs? Wonky. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's the laugh that we needed. <laughs> Jack's good with jokes. Hold on. Whoa. No, you are. You are. Just... Also, uh, box jump. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Legit. Word of the day. I'm about to write down box jumps. Give, <laughs> give the sorry. Give the team a joke. It's a countdown clock, isn't it? You've been banging them out recently. Why are you not? Why have you? Why are you stalling? Why are you getting stage fright? I don't know. Did you see the martial arts gym down the road? Fighting to stay open. Terrible, isn't it? I'm not very good at jokes. What's brown and sticky? A stick. Two elephants fell off a cliff. Boom, boom. <laughs> what do you call a lady with a frog on her head? Lily. <laughs> there we go. Top quality. Man with a spade on his head, Doug. <laughs> what do you call a man without a spade on his head? Douglas. <laughs> what do you call a man with a seagull on his head? Yeah. Cliff. Cliff. <laughs> I'm going to put on a song. I bet you they're going to react. Good song, innit? Wait for it. Fall for you! Over again! My mind! <laughs> <laughs> you just got sent a video from where they get produced of a guy showing us him using the pockets. Make sure because the trouble is they're coming out the bottom, and that's obviously and we not need great. to fix that. So, yeah, but it's not lined, so the teddy fleece hasn't got a lining like it did last year. So it's uh, you can't sew into the teddy because it will show on the front. So it's like trying to come up with. Yes. Oh. I'm gonna just reiterate this it's just one of the best feelings, <laughs> and it's no effort. If you're over 30, this is how the first 30 minutes of your gym session looks. And if it doesn't, let me know what tea you're drinking because I think it's that time of year though too, isn't it? Perfect time to leave England. Real influence angle here. Some days you just need a verbal kick up the ass from yourself. That's what I feel like I need right now. And just a little bit of extra lat stretching. So uh, let's get this done today. I do speak to myself a lot. Like, I would have said that mentally to myself, not physically, like I would on the microphone, but I want you to go through my head thought process. Six by two tempo front squats today. Five seconds on the way down. Uh, this has been a constant over the last couple of weeks in the program, but it's just as hard every single time. It is getting a little bit easier, but I have been adding two and a half kilos because I wanted to do this at 160. Started off for five weeks ago, 
at 150. So today is 160, and if I manage that, I'm gonna be buzzing, and then that will stay my, that's where I'll stay. I feel positionally quite good today, so that's a, that's a bonus. And I feel like I've got good control on the way down, but we'll see what happens when we actually get to wait. Full grip feels good, five seconds. I did a few sets of 10 reps at like 70, 80 and 90, just to kind of get the blood flowing around the joints. But now that I'm warming up, because I know this is gonna be taxing and uh, hard to hold the position, like five seconds is a long time. <laughs> But um, yeah, just one single at 120, 130, 140, 150, and then we'll go into the 160 for the doubles. Just making sure that my body gets used to the weight. It's about five seconds, <laughs> you know? All right, this weight will tell me if I'm gonna have a good day or a bad day. This is 150, 10 kilos off. Let's see how nice and controlled it goes down and comes back up, hopefully pretty fast. Because we did the higher volume squats yesterday, like six lots of five on the back squat, at like 170. The lighter weights, they do feel good the day after. And you know you're not doing as many reps and you know it's lighter. So mentally you're like, I can do it. It's just then you add that tempo in and then it does make it really hard and challenging. But I found from this new block of like squatting, this has been the most beneficial for me. Like. When I'm going down, I can feel my core not wanting to fold, my lower back working, my upper back trying to stay upright and in a solid position. Like I feel in training, especially when you do strength training, you can just get so used to having just a lot of weight on the bar and being like, I'm just gonna rebound, not find the positions or control through positions. And uh, it will get you strong. But um, have you ever tried to just hold a deadlift off the floor for like a minute, you know? Uh, like. 50% you'll be shaken. It's the same thing with holding positions in the squats. That isometric strength adds up. Are you doing, you doing front? You got a belt? You're belting? Oh, no, no, no. Get it, babe. All right, first set today. My skin is itching. 120, 150, 160, here we go. Nice double, no issues. Big money. Make it look good. You got this controlled. <sighs> Ooh. I get the second one probably isn't five seconds because it's definitely trying to fold me. But basically I'm just fighting it, you know? Like as long as I'm getting a good fight for at least three seconds, we're doing all right. All right, get that rest timer on. God, I'm so, you hear that out of breath I am? You don't breathe when I'm doing it. Well, I don't anyway. Second rep when you're on the way down, you're like, all right, we fighting now. I ain't losing. We all going together. Who's really got the tempo? That's the question. This is my second set, so this is where I'm going to go so slow and I'm going to fail because I don't want to lose. Yes, we are. I was off balance on the first one. I came forward and I was like, it was a really bad rep. Not getting beaten. Me versus the barbell today. Oof. Ah. Hello, Throwback songs today, isn't it? My second rep every time, man. Ah. I'm going down, down with these front squats. That'll be the next song. We don't quit. Got it on my wrist. A subscriber gave me that at the games and it still hasn't broken yet. Man's at home. Has hustle on the other side. Wow, oh. 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 oh, these two minute rests are getting me closer and closer to that second rep failure. All right, last set for me, second last set for Jazz. I can feel my legs, man. On the way down on that second one, I thought, I ain't getting up. I'm proud of that. 
no belt, buzzing. All right, something I want to cover today, team, on uh, the snatch is that when you're lifting, you want a change of speed when it comes above the knee, right? So when I'm snatching, the two things that I'm thinking about is staying in a good position, driving the floor away as I push the floor away, and then when the barbell comes above the knee, I'm really giving it everything I can for a change of speed whilst keeping it close. It's almost like an acceleration when you come past the knee, right? If you're yanking the barbell off the floor and you're slowing down because it's heavy when it comes past the knee or like it's pulling you out of position, more than likely you're gonna miss the lift forward or back. So I really like for this uh, tempo snatches. I literally mean three or four seconds to above the knee and then you change the pace into the snap. So what I mean by that, set up in a nice position, three or four seconds to above the knee. Then when you're above the knee, change of pace into the snatch. So I'm just gonna be doing doubles of that today. Build up to a heavy. We'll just see how it goes. Still getting back into it. I just like it because it really focuses on being in a good position to up above the knee, which is like vitally important. You can lose the lift as soon as you come off the floor. And then it focuses on being really powerful and explosive when you pass the knee and controlling the barbell whilst you change speed, which is, a, is also good. And when you're going so slow to then try and make the barbell speed up and go fast, especially when the weight's heavier, it uh, recruits a lot of fibers makes you work and then when you come back to pulling the barbell at a normal speed off the floor and it's not moving as slow when it's past the knee it feels incredible especially with these lighter reps just focus on moving well because when it gets heavier you want that already to be programmed so that you don't think, you just do. Push the ground away, knees back. That was nice. Get them reds on, these. It's more of a confidence thing knowing that when you're driving off the floor, as long as you stay in a good position, the barbell's gonna be in a good position to extend fast or as fast as you can and you'll get the snatch. It's just, sometimes when you're pulling it off the floor, you're like, whoa, this is heavy. I might not make it. I think today anything above 120 or like 120, if I hit 120, it'll be a good day. So see how close we can get. If I end up making them all look the same, that's the, that's the real win today. You can almost hear the effort when I go past the knee. I'm like, right, we really got to give it some pull here. Oh, that was a bit crap. 100, triple figures. it too much that I nearly freaking threw it backwards. Come on, man. In the game. In the game. Make it look good. That's better. All right, 110. Keep it simple, stupid. That was a better set. All right, let's get 120 on there and hit that for a double. That'll be brilliant. Let's go, don't wait. Come on. Oh, oh, that took a lot. Very good, she was. Now if I can hit a single at 125 and 130 when my back's tired and my legs are tired from the squats and from those tempos, like positional holds. It'll be a really money day. Seven, 
70, 90, 110, 120, 130. Alright, cool. Good snatch day. Oh damn! <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Sound like Hagrid. The last one was like a good heavy, but I was like, I hit it quite nice, so I'm like, let's just hit 135, like get the confidence back with the bigger weights. Uh, if you miss, don't try it again. If you hit it, you're gonna smile. It's like a one and done sort of thing. Very proud with that. Proud of me. It's one of the good days. <laughs> did you see how I didn't say anything before I did that 135? I knew I shouldn't have done it and I'm like, I don't wanna tell the team that I'm gonna hit this because if I don't, then I'm, I'm gonna be like sad. <laughs> now we just got some grunt work, so it just pulls. Sets of five, floating, just like, Getting them legs strong, getting those positions strong. See what this 135 feels like. Got the straps on now. <laughs> straps make such a difference. I understand why people snatch with straps because it takes the takes like a little bit off your grip and whatnot. But I, I don't like snatching with it. I, I like doing accessories with them. But I feel like people can rely too much on them and how it holds them in place. So I just like to snatch without them. Because that's what you're gonna do on the comp floor, you know. Also, I just don't trust that they'll unwind. <laughs> I'm a bit of a bit of a freak like that. I reckon we had a bit more weight, that was alright that. Team, if you're looking for massive traps and strong lats, look no further. Also, hamstrings and ass. Just like everything, everything on the back. All the pulling muscles. First two feel well powerful. The last one, like, like the wrestler. Stone Cold Steve Austin, isn't it? John Cena, what am I saying? What oh, a terrible that. Don't usually do this when I've had a good session. I always do it when I have a bad session. Walking home is like a mile and a half. Um, just getting some steps in on the way back. It's good for me. Now nah, I just like doing it because you know you can kind of like reflect on the session and if you have a really bad one you can always reflect and be like by the time I've walked home I'm like yeah there was something good in that whereas at the time when you're leaving you're like yeah but uh, this is like a feel-good walk instead this is like oh, today everything felt good felt snappy gave it everything I had today and uh, we got a little bit better so I can just kind of like enjoy that on the walk